Hello, my pretties. It's the Lion Queen here. We're here with episode 40, 244 today of Shadows and Pretties. And today we are going to be doing a episode, um, another Ice Age movie called Ice Age Collusion Course, which is the fifth movie and, of the Ice Age franchise. And apparently this is a sequel to Continental Drift. And this came out in 2006. It stars Ray Romano, John Locazamo, Dennis Leary, Queen Latifah, Keith Palmer, and we also have Simon Pegg, who comes back to reprise his role as Buck, the weasel in this one. And we do remember who Buck is from the third Ice Age movie, you know, with the dinosaurs. So this one is a pretty good um, movie. I mean, I, I know a lot of people really didn't like this movie for some reason, but I personally thought this one was like an okay movie. I mean, it wasn't really the best but it definitely was something that I really do think that, you know, was pretty... It has a good concept, and the plot line is pretty good. This is basically about the asteroids, with you know, affecting Ice Age. You know, it's space-themed, kind of spoken in here and there. When meanwhile, the first film, you know, was normal, mole, and it's involving, you know, the hunters, the there's saber-toothed tigers, etc. The second movie involves, you know, two... Pastrotic dinosaur, well, water dinosaurs or whatever it was, whatever they're called. The third one involving the dinosaurs. The fourth one, which is the previous one, talked about the world, you know, continental drift and all, and the pirates. And this one, it definitely has a really different concept, and it's not involving, you know, you know, any of those. Well, some of them do, but, you know. Anyways, um, there is a spinoff title called The Avengers of Buck Wild, which I will not be reviewing that one yet because I have not seen it yet. So I can't really say hey, if, um, if I have um, seen it or not. And I'm going to go with the best I can about this, um, well, about this movie. So I guess with that being said, let me get started with this movie. Now, I am just going to let you know that I haven't watched this movie in, like, a while. I think I saw this one back in 2017 or something. And I think finally had... I finally decided to rewatch the film, I mean, the other day. I finally decided to rewatch the movie the other day, you know, because I kind of don't remember much from this movie, but I will give it some out. Now, I'm not going to be spoiling the entire movie. Well, I mean, I'm kind of am spoiling the entire movie somewhat, but... There's some things that I'm not going to be mentioning for those who have not seen the movie or anything. But at the same time, if you guys don't want to see um, me spoiling this movie, I highly recommend you click off this video right now. So, so basically, this movie is about um, Manny and Ellie's um, daughter, Peaches, who gets engaged to a good-natured mammoth named Julian, which, of course, to Manny's disapproval, he finds Julian annoying and incapable of protecting Peaches. However, Peaches reveals her wish to travel and explore the world as their honeymoon, to which, however, though, Manny and Ellie disagree with. While she, she, Shira, and Diego want to have children, but they fear that they wouldn't make any friends, as the other kids would be afraid of the super saber-toothed tigers. And Sid's having trouble trying to find his girlfriend, a girlfriend, which his other one dumped him. Of course, the asteroids are being caused by, you know, Scrat, Pat, who happened to be pointing a disaster during Manny and Ellie's wedding anniversary party. However, in the underground lost world, Buck returns turns with um, an egg back to its mother. So, of course, we see Buck in this one, who explains to the pillar that the asteroids who caused the two extinctions in the past with the next one in coming, he believes the only place they could find a clue to stop it is the site of the impact of the previous ones is by a nearby volcano. So, yeah, they basically have to, you know, survive the asteroids that were that are threatening to, you know, um, crash everything. So, Sid meets a girl named Brooke, who is a ground sloth who falls in love with him the moment she sees him in Geotopia, which happens to be pretty much where, you know, the asteroid shards and stuff. It's like this really weird um, land or some weird area or something. I mean... 
I mean, I really like the fact that Sid gets a girlfriend in this one. And when I watched the, the fourth movie, ever since Diego got a girlfriend, I was wondering if Sid was ever going to get a girlfriend. I mean, I've been wondering about that. I mean, yeah, sure, Sid's an idiot, but he is an idiot in his own way. I mean, that's how Blue Skies tended to make the, you know, the character. Because characters who are dumb like Sid are just, and stupid, they're just there for the right reasons. And they made it for the right reasons. However, the Shangri Lama, the leader of Geotopia, refuses to cooperate with Buck's plan to use the crystals in order to stop the asteroids as they're in key to keep the residents longevity. So eventually, they try to attempt to remove one of the crystals to present the book, but immediately aging them to their real ages, revealing their crone appearance as much as Shangalama's anger. So, yeah, eventually, Manny and Julian work together to throw the, well, the biggest crystal back into the volcano, causing um, Julian to earn M Manny's approval so, eventually, the asteroids get um, pummeling back to space, and after that, the herd then departs for home, including Sid, who part ways with Brooke. But just as they leave, the small crickle crystal shards falls into the hot spring, giving the rejuvenating properties, making the Geotopians and Granny, who stayed behind with them, regain their youth. So, eventually, after their, their wedding with Peaches and Julian... Diego and Shira became the heroes to the kids and rejuvenated Brooke, who appears to be during their wedding ceremony and reunite with Sid, and thus the movie ends. Now, the all the idea of Buck's plan, you know, to try to stop the asteroid is, you know, really neat. I really love the fact that they brought Buck back in this one, be so, you know, because we hadn't seen him since Dawn of the Dinosaurs, which was the third movie, and when the um, and when this movie came out, I was surprised that Buck even came back. And we all know Simon Pegg voiced Buck in the in the third Ice Age movie. You know the same actor for Sean and Shaun of the Dead, actor in Hot Fuzz. You know, that's the guy I'm talking about. That's him. And the whole idea of the film is actually pretty interesting, especially with the concept and stuff. So, I mean, we do get Scrat chasing his acorn, causing stuff to shit to hit the fan and that. <laughs> As usual, I mean, while I could say it was a pretty interesting um, concept and all, I mean, it was rooted as seen as the Ice Age film where pretty much they were... The concept of collusion, of course, was deeply rooted with the scene from the first Ice Age movie where, you know... Manny San Diego and the baby were walking through the ice cave and stuff. So they kind of, you know, take some inspiration from the previous movies and make it into this movie, which is the sixth movie. So, of course, John Debney, who replaces John Powell from the, who did the music for the previous three films due to Powell being busy with other projects. So that's a bit of a, a mix up and stuff. However, there is some shorts regarding this film, which I thought it was pretty neat. However, though, there is a possibility on a sequel, but of course, this one called The Avengers of Buck Wild. I have not seen that one yet, so I can't say, you know, a, a review on, you know, The Avengers of Buck Wild because I've not seen the movie yet. So if I ever get a chance to watch it, maybe I'll give it a review then. But all I heard a lot of people really don't like it. I clearly don't understand why people don't like it. Maybe there's something about it that people don't like or something. But in my honest opinion, I thought this one was a pretty good movie. I mean, no, not perfect. But definitely not terrible either. It's definitely not terrible, but it's definitely not a perfect film. But regardless of this... um concept I thought it was a pretty good movie I mean there's funny moments in it and there's like you know the jokes and that that they put in was just as golden hilarious as the first two like well I mean the first four movies but the first three did pretty good job and the the other one the fourth one that I reviewed was actually pretty interesting in their own way this one on the other hand I definitely have to say I mean, it was an okay movie. Not the best. I mean, there were flaws of this movie here and there. I mean, 
I think I'm kind, I mean, the kind of the concept was, maybe it was, I don't know what it is, but something about this movie just made me not really a fan of this movie, which I, I personally can't remember what it is. I think there might have been something to do with the plot of the film. I don't know, to be honest. That's one question I'm not gonna know for, for sure, so. Okay, um, in all due reality... This is a pretty good film. I recommend for you people to check it out if you haven't. It's a pretty good film. It's got a good concept. I do like it, kid. I found it did to be a pretty good um, series. It's amazing, well made. Definitely got to really say for myself that even though it's a good film in, in the Ice Age movies, I still respect people's opinions if they do not like this movie. Like, if they don't like this movie, that's understandable. I completely understand, and I get that not everybody is, you know, a big fan of it, but I understand. So anyways, with that being said, I'm going to sit here and be honest right now that this is just my own opinion on the movie, and if you happen to disagree with me, that's perfectly fine too, because we're all entitled to our own opinions in regards to these movies, and this is just my own thoughts. I personally thought this movie was an okay Ice Age movie, maybe not the best, but it's definitely not terrible. Maybe there were, well, there were some flaws in it, which I can't really point out, but the fact that, you know, Buck, you know, didn't come back in the fourth movie, but came back in this one, kind of makes me wonder what happened to him during the whole um, Continental Drift and the Pirates um, fiasco going on. It kind of makes me wonder, what was Buck doing there? And what happened to Rudy? I mean, there was no actual way of what happened to Rudy. Like, did he die or something? While um, they were dealing with the whole continental drift. I really don't know. That kind of makes me wonder. But it gives me some questions as to what could possibly be the potential of that being the case. So anyway with that being said. I'm going to really say that this is just my own opinion on this movie. And if I ever do see the Avengers of Buckwild. I'll give it a review then. But right now I can't really say you know, when I will review it because I've not seen the movie yet. But if I ever do, I'll definitely be sure to make a review and upload it for you guys so you guys can see it. So, anyways, what did you guys personally think of this movie? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? What did you think? Feel free to leave me now your thoughts are down in the comments below because if you disagree with me, that's fine too. If you agree with me, that's fine as well. Because I'm open to everybody's opinions and I'm wanting to hear what everyone thinks of this movie. I mean, in my opinion, it's an alright movie. Not the best Ice Age movie I've seen. But there's definitely other ones that I have seen. Like the from the first one up to the third movie. Which I thought the third movie was absolutely one of my favorites. Because that involved the dinosaurs, which was interesting. Anyways, and as always, I'm going to say I'm the Lion Queen... Thank you so much for watching today's video, and if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new, ring the bell for notifications to when I upload, so that way you guys will not miss an upload. I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Peace out, and like always, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.